ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube lanes, it's your boy Tuglo, and today we have here the Bathroom Princess Eyes Valenstein unit review. So as we can see here, uh, she is going to be available for the Adventure Pickup Gotcha. Basically, it just means she is going to be on the rate up, similar to, uh, oh, okay, well, never mind, it's already gone. It was similar to the Onsen Asfi that was literally just here, and it was also similar to the Anya Frommel uh, from a few banners ago. So let's go ahead and take a look at what she can do. Starting off, Bathroom Princess Aj Valenstein is going to be a balance type character. She's going to be a jack of all trades and not really a master of anything as we can see just kind of telling based off of her uh, abilities you know none of them are like ef rank or d rank something like that you know as c or higher so you know hey c's get degrees baby so let's go ahead and take a look she does have 329 strength 182 endurance 258 dexterity 175 agility and 484 magic she does have the mp of 140 her physical attack is going to be 329 the uh, Emma attack is going to be 484, the defense 182, and her HP is going to be 1388. Uh, I am just going to just use her at base form just in case, you know, you get extremely unlucky and have to go to that fifth step in order to pull her and you only get one dupe of her. So that's, you know, what we're going to work with. Her abilities are going to be as follows. Her special is an AoE Ultra Wind Magic Attack and it heals minus 50 percent so you have a heal reduction uh on the enemies so you know if you're in war games and you somehow get to pop your uh special attack and you're using this eyes uh any healing that is done after this assuming that they live will only get 50 percent of its effective healing and that is going to last for four turns so that in of, in and of itself is going to be very very juicy her first ability is going to be an AoE mid wind magic attack, and it also reduces the magic resist by 20% for two turns. This works in tandem with her other abilities, you know, taking down the magic resist, doing magic attacks. That's very good. She kind of reminds me, kind of similar to a uh, Onsen Lily in the fact that she does a lot of earth reduction and then turns around and does earth attacks as well so i kind of do like this a lot her second ability is going to be a single target high wind magic attack with a 30 percent chance to put the enemy to sleep that record or not record buster uh that that's screaming war games right there that's screaming you know any type of boss mobs in the story anything like that I uh, like that 30% chance to sleep a lot. Put that on top of, you know, some of these sleep uh, ability or sleep assist could could work pretty well together. You know, I'm not saying that's what you should use on her, but you know, having a lot of chances to sleep, I do like that a lot. Then the ability, her third ability, that is going to really put her over the top, and what really makes her just you want to put her on your team, man. This this is her steak and potatoes of abilities. It is her third ability. It is an AoE physical resist plus 40% for two turns. Now, to put that in perspective, Oka's ability, I believe, is AoE. I think it lasts for four turns. However, it is only going to be 20%. So, you know, you kind of longer uh, use, but for less physical resist. Let's say you're in Record Buster for right now. You know, they could change it. Uh, but for right now, they do have Otaro there. Let's say you have uh, his minus 20% endurance buff on top of you. With Oka, you're at least canceling it out. Or it might be 30% when it goes up higher uh, in difficulties or higher into the turns. You know, so Otaro hits you with that 20 to 30%. Then you're sitting there with Oka's buff, and it's like, man, you know, I'm either at neutral or I'm at um, minus 10%. But you put this eyes on your team, brother or sister, plus 40% physical resist. Oh, Lord have mercy. I like that a lot. It's extremely juicy. So this ability right here is what's going to really reserve a spot for her on your team if uh if you have an extra slot so she's definitely going to be a fantastic unit uh in the balance category now uh will i be pulling for her i'm gonna have to pass just for the sheer fact that 
I've kind of already rounded out my team in the way that I kind of want to build my own personal team. She is definitely a fantastic balance type unit and is going to carry her own weight if you do choose to put her on your team. The last thing I that I do want to mention is that her banner will be leaving on the 9th of this month so it'll be not this wednesday but next wednesday she will be going away so if you do decide hey you know i want to throw you know 2000 just to for sure get her go for it just remember when you are rolling on this banner you have a chance to get other types of units so you know you can get that sword oratoria uh you know sparkling eyes you can get the uh lafia you can get different types of people it's not just going to be limited to her she's just the rate up featured character on the banner guys thank you so much for watching this uh bathroom princess Aj valenstein uh unit review i do appreciate the support a lot if you haven't already be sure to like share comment and subscribe to the youtube channel to help make the dream become a reality also once you subscribe be sure to turn on those notifications last but not least check out the description box down below where you can find links to my twitch stream my discord server my patreon page and any social media such as twitter facebook and instagram guys thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate the support a lot and as y'all know that's the fat lady singing that's the bells are ringing and until the next video i hope you have an awesome day and i will see you in the next one peace out